Imagine being a Call of Duty fan. Imagine buying the same game year after year, the same trash, the same garbage. A poor excuse for a video game. Made by the worst publisher, Activision, the greediest publisher out there, re-releasing the same game over and over and over. And these clowns who buy it, normies, noobs, casuals, zoomers and millennials, Xbox gamers, PC gamers, all to blame for this uninspired assembly line trash that is the Call of Duty franchise. And now they've run out of ideas, they are headed back to World War II, or at least what a hipster thing. Things happened in World War II anyway. What a bunch of morons Sledgehammer are, doing no research, not even attempting to make an accurate World War II experience, just as bad as Battlefield 5. And look how that turned out for EA. Controversy and backlash, and Call of Duty Vanguard looks set to follow. Learning no lessons from other crappy developers' past mistakes, doomed to repeat them over and over and over again. Insanity, just like the bad guy from Far Cry 3 used to say. But this is nothing new. Call of Duty has always been trash, especially Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2, two of the worst ones ever. The ones responsible for normalizing stupid online gaming, destroying gaming and starting the trend of every developer trying to cater to Xbox fanboys. That's all they play, Call of Duty, especially Warzone, a load of trash as well, cater to appeal to the Xbox crowd. And it looks like Vanguard is set to follow, a load of trash also, one of the worst games I've ever seen. Poor graphics, bad performance, a low frame rate, especially on P, the weakest platform. What a load of impacted fecal matter Call of Duty Vanguard looks like. Trash, garbage, shit. In that order. A game designed to cater to noobs. Designed to cater to the lowest common denominator. Designed to cater to fools. Designed to cater to NPCs. Designed to cater to dead-eyed, imbecilic, knuckle-dragging Neanderthals with a tiny brain. So sad. So sad indeed.